Okay, I wanted to do another little little video here just on setting up a menu. Um, I think especially for the last assignment in second language programming, the uh, coin flip simulator, um, you should have a menu where you do different options. Um, so right now I just have some start code um, where I just print out a menu, right? Main menu, list out my options, um, as many as you'd like. Then I get the user, hey, what do you want to select? And based on what they type in, right, I store whatever they type in into the selection variable. If they selected one, I'm going to do option one. If they select number two, I'll do option two, etc., etc. Okay, now the, the current code just runs once, right? It prints out the menu, enter selection, I press one, it'll say option one, and then the program ends. Okay, if I hit option three, I have to run the program again, exit. Well, it, it always exits no matter what I do. Um, so in JavaScript, we had these event listeners, right? Where I could, I could, it would, the, the program would always listen for an event, and when I click something, it would execute that code. So we're going to do something similar. We're going to take this entire menu, right? Where I print the menu, where I get the selection, and then I take action. I want to repeat that over and over again. And basically, I just put it in a loop, and that's my event listener, right? It says, okay, once you're done doing the action, I'm just going to print out this menu and see what you want to do next. Okay, so I'm going to select this entire thing and hit tab because I want this to go inside of the body of a loop. I'm just going to make a comment here, a main program loop, we'll call it. A little autocorrect. Okay, now I like to do this just simply with a variable called loop and I assign it to be true, um, capital T for true. And then I just go while loop, right? So loop has the value true. So while this is true, it'll do whatever's indented, right? Remember the colon, and then I indent all of this stuff. So that's what's going to repeat. Now this, of course, is going to give me an infinite loop, right? Because loop is always going to be true. It'll loop over and over and over again. Really easy way to fix that is once the user selects exit, right, option four, not only am I going to print out exit, I'm going to take my loop variable and assign it to be the Boolean variable false. Right, remember we had true and false. And that should now um, end the loop if they select number four. If they select number one, it'll print option one, and then it should repeat and print the main menu again. So let's try that. Okay, so the first time, right, loop is true, while well, loop, so it ran this thing, I'm going to select option one. It printed out option one, and then did the main menu again. And then select option two, and then does option two, main menu, etc. And now moment of truth, when I hit four, loop should be false, and it'll exit the program. Okay, so that's just a simple way to set up a, a loop so that it prints out the menu, gets the selection and repeats the options over and over again. Um, sometimes there's a little, I like to throw a little slash n in here, that's just a new line character, um, just so that it separates in the console, just to clean things out a little bit, right? So that after I do option one, it does a new line. It's like hitting enter before it prints out the main menu. Okay, you could also do that at the start of your options here, if you wanted to just have a bit of a, oops, sorry. Let's try that again, option one, just to separate things a little bit more, those slash ends can help. Okay, so that should help you to set up your menu, and then you just put your code in here, right? If option one was to do a certain simulation, put your code in here. If option two was to loop a certain number of times, put the, the code inside of, of here. All right, so you're gonna have your, your action based on whatever the menu selections are, and you can implement those different choices. Okay, hope that helps you set up a little program loop and uh, a nice example of, uh, of a simple while loop to keep this going over and over again until we hit exit. Okay, hope that made sense.